The problem with this game, what makes it so hard, is when you kill these guys, they shoot off these, like... What is that? Like, the metal? Metal from the plane? Like that. Oh, my... Jesus. Um... This game is giving me anxiety. Coin op, shall I say, back at it again. This time, if you look in the lower right-hand corner with a almost 3,000 game base collection. This is going to be your arcade, your Sega Model 3, uh, some PC games, your console games, including handhelds, as well as consoles. Everything from, you know, Atari up to uh, Nintendo 64. Um, and you can even add on Wii and GameCube. So this is kind of an all-in-one. You'll notice that I have these catalog, these collections on the left here. There's a couple different ways you can show this build. There's lots of shader scan lines to personalize your experience. So let's check out the README file here. Here's a quick synopsis of what makes CoinOps Collections what it is. Um, many more levels in the navigation than before. Um, it's a base image in that has a very eclectic across a lot of different consoles and arcade uh, games so you get a nice little starting build i think it runs in around 170 170 gigabytes it tells you down here here you go 187 gigabytes total it downloads a little smaller because it is going to be compressed you uncompress it and it is a plug and play build uh, as you can see here in the red though if you saw earlier up here on the ash i know is scrolling fast feel free to pause the screen you have the little asterisk there and what they're saying is that you'd want to add these add-on packs. Those packs can be found in the same place that you can find this build. And uh, so it comes with these computer systems, all of them. However, when it comes to uh, consoles, you'll notice there's a couple stars. And if it really comes down to uh, size, right? Nintendo GameCube games are CD-based games. They're huge, right? 45 games is 48 gigabytes, right? I can tell you right now that, for example, this Atari is less than... 100 megabytes for all those Atari games, right? So what they did was they kind of broke it up so you don't have to down. Otherwise, if you wanted GameCube, Wii, and PSP, and Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, and PlayStation 1 up here all bundled together, that would make this file closer to 600 gigabytes, right? So what they did, you get the base. What are you getting? You're getting MAME, Sega Model 3, uh, the Dolphin Triforce, these arcade GP Mario Kart games. Uh, as always, they include Afterburner Climax, the PlayStation 3 game as an arcade game, though. You'll find it in the arcade set. Daphne, there you go. This is great. A lot of people ask me all the time, is there Dragon's Lair on it? Is there Space Ace? You know, those are often uh, asked about. Now, PC, you do get OutRun 2006. You even get Street Fighter 4, which we saw on the last Coin Ops build. Um, so it looks like they're continuing they're continuing to add that in uh, but you'll notice here it's these are like kind of the best of the best like 3do has way more than three games for that console but um they're just kind of picking three games so we'll look at those in a second coley co we got 13 neo geo nintendo 64 any like nes only 69 games you know as you know these systems have thousands of games so it is a best of the best in the portables you are not going to get any psp games again they're cd based games so they take up a ton of space uh, so in order to keep the file size small computer systems here you go You're probably gonna want a keyboard and mouse for some of this stuff Although a lot of it will run on a you know an Xbox controller That is the preferred controller of these builds in case you're wondering and then it is a 16 by 9 build a lot of people are like Oh, I want to put it in my 4-3 arcade cabinet. Um, it's not necessarily uh, for that um, You know go on the uh, coin ops discord. Uh, there might be some builds that do allow 4-3. I'm not sure I do know the reason behind it is just like they're looking for the ultimate uh, experience and they can control the experience at 1080p and 16.9 ratio. When you start playing around with different aspect ratios, now you have to redo artwork. There's all sorts of issues and um, not issues, it's just a lot more work, right? To, to get it working seamlessly. So that's pretty much it for the README. Um, well, I guess let me, the readme does explain the collections here, these three files. I'm going to show you in a second. There's also something called CoinOps Star Collection, but you have to set that up. It does not come pre-set up, but it looks like it's kind of like a favorites thing. So you were like, what the heck are you talking about? So you, when you get this program, you have these three uh, applications here I'm highlighting. <clears throat> and now the collections are going to be the smallest, where it's just going to have, you know, the collection menu, and that's it. This one's going to have all the different uh, arcade genres, right? The shoot 'em ups the fighters, things like that. And then you have the one with manufacturers too. This is also going to include like a, a trackball and light gun uh, collection. So it's just going to add a lot more layers to your, um, 
your 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 uh, menu system. Uh, I prefer maybe this one. You know, even this one is fine for me. I just don't like a lot going on on my screen. But some people like that. The more organ they like it more organized, and this is more organized. But there's also like a lot more menus you have to go through. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is, um, you know, if this is your first time installing, make sure you go to fix this one not working. A lot of times your computer just doesn't have DirectX installed. And then these advanced configurations are so awesome. Uh, if you're going to have like a second marquee, um, the themes. So it, I believe it starts out on cabinet wheel. I'm not sure if it's fast or, or regular. I probably, probably one of these two. I could check in a second. Uh, and then you have the wall theme, which is like a wall of cabinets. And then one of my favorites, the marquee theme, which shows off like the arcade marquee. But then again, this has a lot of consoles in it. So I don't know if I'm going to like the marquee theme as much because you're going to have, um, these console games didn't have a marquee, right? They, they're not arcade. So you're going to see kind of a, a, a photoshopped marquee in there. And then you got all sorts of other things that I recommend you play with. What's so cool about this is you can literally just double click this right here. And what this does is batch file is it just executes it and you're done. You don't have to type anything in. There's no password. You just click, it applies it. You can go back, go and then double click in and you're done. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in. You double click, it should load up. If it doesn't load up, that means you don't have your prerequisites installed. Speaking of prerequisites, you really don't need um, you know, anything uh, crazy. I, I am on a more powerful laptop, so you're gonna see it run really well. So, okay, maybe, the, no, it was not on fast to begin with. Okay, so fast, it just doesn't change the picture on the back, right? So here we go, let me go back. We were on that before, let's go back to fast. Now let's go in and you'll see it's just slightly different with the images. It just makes it even more optimized. So if you had a slower computer, yeah. So you notice that background picture to your the right half of the screen is not changing. Okay, there you go. So that is the fast version. And that's really cool, right? It looks like an attract mode, you know, hyperspin type type experience really cool right but wall is really cool as well i don't know if i click that or not see the cool thing about batch files too is if you like oh did i click that did i not you can just click it a second time it's not going to break anything <laughs> it's kind of like my parents using their computer you know they uh they seem to click everything all right uh so here's your wall of cabinets so like i said i don't think i'm gonna like wall as much because there's so many consoles on this let's go back let's go to consoles here yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Like, you're just gonna get this TV and then the screen, which is cool, don't get me wrong. But um, I just think it's way cooler, like when you're in arcade, for example. Let's go back to arcades over here. Ooh, there's a lot of consoles. So when you're in arcade, for example, it's just way cooler, right? Because each cabinet is unique, right? It's not just the video snap it's the cabinet so that's why I you know if I'm gonna be playing consoles myself I'm probably gonna be on cabinet wheel but uh, same thing with marquee my same kind of thing of like I prefer this on the other coin ops builds but on this one and again I'm just saying my preference um, you know in arcade it looks awesome right you get to see all the marquees right let's go back let's okay so like Nintendo 64 and so this is my thing. And I don't blame them for this, right? It's just like every marquee is the same, right? It all has the same background. So again, I'd rather have this than not have this option. I'm just saying out of all the themes, I think the uh, cabinet wheel is the way to go myself. That's all I'm saying. As far as if you're going to be playing a lot of consoles. If you're playing a lot of arcade, I would go with the other one. I hope I made myself clear. I'm just saying, talking about my preference here. All right, so going to Sega Saturn. What the hell? All right, go to all. Oh, there's no Sega Saturn. We didn't download the pack. Yeah, I see this is way cooler. Because you get that image on the right. I think that's just a lot more. It's a lot more kind of blingy. All right, and now let's take a look around. So arcade, you got 1,234 games. Um, this is pretty standard on all the coin ops builds, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. And then you have the different categories, arcade classics, old school, beat em ups, running gun, fight club, shoot em ups, racer, puzzler, uh, sports, gun games, and then you get to the consoles here. Remember, you also have these these little men these sub menus on the on the left side of your screen that you use up and down for. I'm just in all right now, 
Um, and then you, then we went through the arcade. I'm scrolling to the right. We went through arcade. So let's start with the consoles here. Panasonic 3DO. You only have three games. There they are. Amiga, you have 194 games. Micro Machines, what a classic. I'm not going to scroll through all these systems, especially these earlier systems. 61 Amiga CD games. CPC got 78. Um, actually, I'm not even going to scroll through some of these. Remember er, later in the video or earlier in the video, I'm going to go ahead and we got Doom 1 and 2. I showed you the README file. The README file has all the number counts on there. Uh, as far as certain systems that have not only a few games, I'll definitely scroll through those, some of the more popular ones. So Neo Geo CD, Nintendo 3DS, what do you got here? You got 11 games. So this is pretty cool. You got Donkey Kong Country Returns. I can see myself spending some time here. Really cool stuff. You even got Tekken 3D. You got Captain Toad. Nintendo 64, you got 44 games. You got your Banjos, you got your Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong, 007. And these games are going to run really well on a PC, especially if you have a decent PC. Pretty good to go. Nintendo DS, you got 24 games. Here are those games, Castlevania, Contra, Mario. I'm just going to keep moving. Oh, okay, when you move to the right, it just racks you out anyways. 69 games here. So you got some of your classics. Right, very nice 69 total then you got your Game Boy Game Boy Color Game Boy Advance I'll start at Game Boy Advance the Pokemon I mean you're gonna have Pokemon Mario things like that for Game Boy Tetris um, same with like Game Gear you're gonna have like your Sonic things like that but some of these systems that are a little larger I'll scroll through them you see you got all your Pokemon's for Game Boy Advance your Sonic's Super Mario World Advanced Wars 1 and 2. So GameCube, you'll notice I'm clicking and nothing is happening. That's because you have to download the pack and add it yourself. Nintendo, you have 207. I'm not going to, or SNES, Super Nintendo. I'm not going to go through all those. We just expect you're going to, Wii is not going to work either because I didn't park, download the, the pack yet. Uh, PC Engine has 43. Um, PC Engine CD, probably a lot less, 34. Not, not that much less, still a lot. Godzilla, our type Darius. All right. Uh, PC games. You what do you have? You have Street Fighter Four. Okay. And then remember, Outrun two thousand six is on here as well. Um, as well as there's one other um, that it was on the README file. I forget which one it was. PlayStation one nothing because you need to download the pack. PlayStation two though you do get Burnout three. You get eight games. So nice little set here. PlayStation though there's just a PlayStation pack. Oh, wow. Interesting. So there is quite a few PlayStation 3 games on here. Okay, so there's your OutRun 2006. Oh, no. This is the online arcade version. Okay. Uh, you got Scott Pilgrim. Street Fighter 2 Remix. And then Afterburner. PSP. Remember, you got to download that pack. Scum BM. You got 33. 32X. You got almost all of them there. Sega CD. You got 32. Dreamcast, another pack that you want to add on. Game Gear, you have, you've got 25. We already know that, right? You can check out the file. Quite a bit of those. And then Sega Saturn, another pack if you want it. And then uh, settings. This is a cool one. So you can do a track mode, splash, toggle, whether you want splash screen, scan lines, whether you want them, real bezels, whether you want them on or off. Um, real bezels is like, um, there's like newer bezels and then there's kind of more of the older style bezels and it switches between those, uh, whether you want the logos on or not. Um, you know, Chrome, there's different ways, you, colors you can get the logos in. Glass toggle, music, a track mode, back to splash. And uh, all this is also in the readme file as well. If you're ever curious, it should be in here as well. So splash, scan line toggle, Real bezel, what it does. Logo toggle, you have chrome, gold, artistic. Glass toggle, you have it reflective and non-reflective. This is cool because it kind of replicates the old school arcade. Music toggle, track mode toggle. Okay. All right, so I'm just loading a PS3 game here. My computer's fully ramped up. Just so you know, you're probably going to need a deprecative graphics card to run these games. But uh, wanted to run something a little... Uh, Harder to play. Let's do arcade. Ooh, which which one should we pick? Well, we only get a couple of options. Roll back, reflection, speed up, roll back, reflection. Select this capital to turn back time. You're gonna have lots of fun with this. I can tell you that much. 
Um, well optimized, love the collections, kind of the best of the best. Another option for people out there. And uh, what I like is there was a lot more, in my opinion, compared to this build and compared to some others, like you get a lot more um, flexibility. Like you can turn certain things on, you can turn certain things off. Um, you can really get it to how you want it. And then there's those extra packs if you want it. Or, you know, a lot of people complain that, you know, these downloads are so big. So, you know, it gives you the option. If you're already able to get the whole base image, then it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be much problem at all to, um, you know, add in those packs. It's literally uh, un uncompress them and then uh, add them on there. But for me, there's plenty of games on here already that, um, you know, I'm going to be plenty happy with that so even that when you're done it brings you back out and then there you are you're back on your coin ops collection so lots of collections beautiful artwork optimized um pros and cons i mean the biggest con is just you know some of you might already have like a coin ops next to build with all your add-on packs on it you don't want to like transfer everything or mess with it that's fine you're probably fine you know why do all the effort extra effort um you know, another thing is, you know, you might not want the best of the best. You might want the entire collection of a certain system, like all the NES games. So there are some other builds out there that can scratch that itch. Um, but uh, as far as this into the arsenal of different builds, it's definitely one to consider uh, it being the most recent, most up to date, most optimized and, um, you know, a good overall uh, build what I would do with this is I would throw it on an external hard drive and there you go No matter if you go to your house a friend's house All you need is that hard drive and a couple controllers and a decent computer and you're rocking and rolling You can hook it up to a big screen TV a computer I mean, it's just endless the potential you can even make a portable retro gaming out of this I know a lot of people like to go ahead and even um uh, you know, put it in a bar top, you know, 16, I know bar tops are, are, are arcade cabinet, you know, it's usually four or three, but people make uh, 69 ones as well. And uh, it's, a, it's a really cool uh, experience. And then especially with computer prices right now, you can get like an old HP or an old Dell, slap a graphics card in there, and this stuff will run. Maybe not PlayStation 3, but PlayStation 2, uh, definitely. And then otherwise, you know, a 500 to thousand dollar gaming laptop with like a 1660 in it or something like that uh, would would run this stuff just great. You know, an i5 or i7 uh, would, would go really well with this. So there you go. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.